Hi everyone, it's B Divine. Thanks so much for being with me on the two, 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 uh, the two portal. Okay, this is the um, energy of Pluto's return to the United States, and it has to do with Capricorn. It has to do with the natal chart of the United States and the signing of the declaration. This is things that I've been talking about now for some time. We're finally at that energy, which will last for the next couple of years. Okay, so it's going to be intense. Things are going to crumble. Things are going to fall apart. The energy of change is everywhere. People are sick and tired of, of you know, being forced to do something against their will. Governments are going to be held accountable for the things that, that you know, that they've been imposing. And if it's, if there's corruption anywhere, in big institutions, in anyone's government, in anyone's rules or resources, in anyone's banking, in anyone's schools, in any like institutions and big tech is included, the energy of Pluto does not let any stone be unturned. This is going to be massive. You're already seeing the convoys. You're already seeing people sick of it. Australia had 1.6 million go to Canberra, which is the capital, you know, um, the capital of Australia. They went to Canberra and, you know, um, the Australian Capital Territory and, uh, 1.6 million were there all together in you know and then suddenly they're going to finish everything and then suddenly if you're going to finish everything here as well um why you tell me is it because of the midterms coming up you know or is it because the energy of the systems that are in play already know about the pluto return now pluto has already been with us since 2008 and we saw a lot of corruption become exposed uh, in that time, you know, moving into um, 2019, 2020. Uh, we've seen so many things. One thing up, it hasn't been an easy time. Um, most of you may have had uh, the energy of uh, from 2008. This might have been your most difficult moments um, in your life. You may have been going through upheavals left, right and center. But now we come to this pivotal point here. Um, you know, the 22nd of the 2nd, uh, 2022. Uh, and if you're in the United States, you say 2-22-2022, right? So all of those twos, you've probably been seeing number sequences galore. You've probably been feeling um, like something is transforming. And that would have started on the 19th where the transformational energy began like really, really heavily. Um, and into the, you know, the 20th course and going and going on. So um, I'm going to talk a little bit about it and uh, screen share and also get a message for us from the Crystal Mandala Oracle, because as things are going to change and shift and grow, things are going to be shut down. You are going to also find that those people that um, sadly, you know, people that have been in um, in disguise in any way, like in the spiritual communities or uh, schools or churches or whatever it is, big, big tech, if they have been playing us, if they have been, um, you know, creating divisions where there doesn't need to be any, if they have been um, pushing agendas, if they've been taking away our um, freedoms, if they have been prying into our business, if they've anything like that, um, you watch this start to, to crumble, expose, crumble, expose. You've got the Wall Street completely aware of uh, the fraud that's been going on. You've got insurance companies who are also cluing in to something is not right with um, the, uh, the, the jib jabs, okay, because people are dropping, all right, and they may not they just might be brushing over that people are getting blood clots and serious adverse um, side effects and some happening extremely quickly as well like the next day okay and uh, not that we want to think about that especially when we've all got people we know and love that have had it but the fact that that's going on and the insurance companies the wall streets uh you know the stock market the stock exchange are in complete they know exactly what's going on okay so even if um, the, the media won't cover things properly, um, money talks, all right? And so 
certain companies are losing stakes, like dropping 70%. Uh, one of them starts with an M and ends with an A um, that created the, um, you know, jib jabs. 70% down. Okay, stock, why? Look at it. Okay, these things are going to come out. We have uh, people after, we have people coming forth with truths, getting away from the negligence. We have people who are not going to be listening to um, the ramblings that we've been getting. You know, we don't have any support as a nation so far in the United States with our situation that's going on, whatever you want to call it, because no one's ever in the W house. Um, that's always empty or boarded up or, you know, how many, there's a big wall around it, right? Why? We don't get talked to by our um, person in the W house. We don't get any, he doesn't talk to, to us. And if he does, can't understand a word he's saying anyway or he's drifting off or he can't read his teleprompter or whatever. I don't know what it is, but he's not well. Nobody cares that he's not well, that is pushing him out to the front. Just go and do it. We've got people who are just trying to get back to work, just trying to get life together. They're trying to just make ends meet. They want to get back together with family. They're sick of this whole thing with less than a 2% chance of actually harming you in, in the last, what, two years? and uh, less than 2% chance that anything's even going to happen. And those poor people that have had it happen where they've passed away, unfortunately, there's been something else going on. It's just how it always, you know, there's just comorbidities and it's just, you've been lied to. And uh, this Pluto energy is not going to allow that to continue. So people saying, well, it's good that people have a voice and it's good that people are finally getting, you know, it is. Hurrah, but that's not the problem. That's not the problem. You know, that's just a distraction from the real problem, which is sitting in the W house or wherever he is, maybe at the set, you know, whatever it is. He doesn't even know how to get in the door where the Secret Service are, are guiding him in there. So this, still, this is not a safety of a nation. Pluto will encourage, you know, it will encourage uh, the corruption to be absolutely not only destroyed but exposed first and for there's so much once they blow the lid off one thing over the next two years okay this is going to build but what we're dealing with right now is going to stop like a thief in the night i said that to my husband and he's like wow i haven't heard that term in a long time and i'm like well it just it just will this is what's going to happen and why they can call whatever they want to say they want to call it but um, it, it's just going to stop because there was nothing there anyway. And they've lost their power. As I said to you the other day, they've laid their sword down. They've got nothing left except for whatever emergency powers or whatever they want to do or making it harder for people or, you know, stripping people from YouTube and Facebook and all the, the BS until all that gets discovered as well. By the way, you will find me on Rumble, Be Divine Online. And, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure this is all going to go down in the next couple of years anyway. So we don't want anything corrupted, do we? Right? We want to be able to barter with each other, own, you know, uh, there's enough for everyone to own their own amount of land and just live quietly, you know, and have a nice life around the globe. But um, the way that things have been set into motion, it's all about greed and about the people getting nothing unless you're in the top, you know, Fortune 500 or whatever. And then you'll be fine because, you know, you're just in there. You're just the elite. You're just in a part of the problem. You know all the secrets, whatever. Again, more people are coming forward. And they won't be laughed at at this point. They won't be laughed at. You know, they're not going to be um, pushed to the back of the room or ousted from Hollywood because they don't care, right? It's all, it's all changing. So let's take a look at what this is. Let me screen share with you. Okay, so some of the things in the astrology uh, stuff, uh, you know, I'm basically focused, for me, I'm focused on the message of the Pluto return, right? I'm not, 
um, you know, in the astrology thing, they're obviously trying to be really careful and tick all the right boxes, okay, um, with some of the comments that are made uh, through the articles. But anyway, um, so the states were born on the 4th of July, and that's where we're taking it from the birth, although that is not the birth of the nation, really, but we're taking it as this, at the signing of the Declaration of Independence, Cancer Sun, Aquarius Moon, and Sagittarius Ascendant, the USA have its natal Pluto in the second house of finances and resources. And this is telling for a nation that was built from scratch by people who wanted a different, better life for themselves, right? That's, that's true, different and better life for themselves. On February 19th, 2022, Pluto will conjunct the country's natal Pluto for the first time ever, marking a time of intense transformation. So that happened um, on uh, Saturday. Um, and in the areas represented by Capricorn, the government, institution, rules and regulations, and the second house, the financial system, i.e. stock market as well, natural resources, values and attitudes. So those on the stock market are aware, okay, um, of exactly what's happened here. And they are not going to let it go. All right. So the, the, the money, the, the stock market exchange is going to come crashing down with certain things that were right up there. Um, they're coming down and people are coming forward. The process has been set in motion starting with this year. Um, due to the recess associated with COVID-19, Capricorn in the second house is a mature, steady type of energy. So we will be faced with challenges. Um, especially in the areas of money, career and reputation that pushes us to grow up and teach us resilience. Okay, so the money and all that sort of thing. Um, you know, if all of that is black and dark and corrupted, why, you know, it, it's going to change. But I don't think it's just going to go straight away. We're into this new system, unless we are in our new vibration, uh, moved into our new energy. And many of us have lifted and ascended into this new energy anyway, so they really don't care. Um, so yeah, it's it's going to be it's going to be different how we start pushing forward. But at the same time, I think that you know it'll be okay. We'll go through it. Um, all right. So so it says history can no longer be silent not when it comes to matters of land property resources linked to privilege judgment and power abuses which is capricorn we're now questioning the values that the country was built on prompted by the explosive energy of pluto the planet that doesn't accept any compromises again if anything is corrupt anywhere it doesn't matter like if the, if the values were you know that everybody all men are created equal and you know, we have a right to the pursuit of happiness, right? We have all of that kind of energy going on here. Um, are those things still, you know, is the Bill of Rights still in action for the United States? You know, I'm sure it was difficult, but what the founding fathers were trying to do was safeguard the citizens of the United States from ever being taken over by a tyrannical system. Has that happened? Are we living in that, right? So these are the things that are gonna be challenged. Government and resources, big tech, big institutions, everybody's gonna to have to have an answer for all of the BS that they've put us through. And people who have struggled and struggled and struggled to make it or to get anywhere on any of these social media platforms. You know, so far the only people that have gotten through and have made it and, and gotten there and you know made big deals and you know all of that are doing just that are making deals and basically making deals with the devil because you know this is why many of us struggle with what we do we can't catch a break because of the system being absolutely thwarted you know to only only help those that are parroting the right words okay even if they don't even believe it but they're, they're like okay well i'm willing to get 20 million so i'll just parrot whatever words you want me to and i'll tell as many people as you want me to because i want that income right so 
this sort of coercion and corruption and and stressful things that have been unnecessary for the people will have to be exposed and believe me you watch what's coming out between now and the next two months it's going to be actually the first six months of you know 2022 we are in for some really big <laughs> revelations so the saturn pluto conjunction here um is amplified by a conjunction between transiting Saturn and Pluto, an astrological event associated with the transformation of current social structures, often through economic difficulties and restrictions. Saturn ripens the karma associated with Pluto, taboos, abuse, old wounds, and urges us to take responsibility for the damage done. In the second house, we can think of wounds linked to attachments, desire for money and power, or harmful attitudes towards the natural world right um taking responsibility for the damage done is is clearly what's going to happen here and there's not the people that are to blame it is the higher-ups okay that are to blame it doesn't matter where you live all right they're all in cahoots to you know run and control us all and uh destroy us okay because there's more of us than there is of them but it hasn't worked as i said the light's already won and it already has won so um, the last Saturn Pluto conjunction took place in 1982. And uh, remember Saturn, it brings up viruses. Okay, it brings up trouble. And this is when the AIDS pandemic really started to hit. And guess what? We were going over the numbers of people uh, who have AIDS. I'll go over the numbers again. And uh, her, her, there's a connection. Okay, just what we thought. So millions of people, millions of people with AIDS, okay? So in the year, um, so 1982, the year when the US went into recession, the fact that Saturn and Pluto mean serious business isn't an easy pill to swallow, but this is the general vibe of our years. Things aren't easy. Hard times push us to work harder to take responsibility for our own corner of the world to shit, and we do. Okay, we're, I'm not going to get blamed for this and neither should you because we've just been living our life and doing as we're told, right? And trying to create change in this, in this world and bring people to empowerment and enlightenment and get people healthy and well. And the opposite has been pushed upon us our whole lives. So I'm not going to shed toxic attitudes. Well, only people who have toxic attitudes are, are people who are in a lower frame of energy and they don't know anything else. They, they just fight for themselves and stick up for themselves and feel that it's, it, it needs to be done in that way. And to us, it's, it's, it's scary. And to us, it's like over the top. But to them, they're just fighting for themselves. But everything else, you know, they need to take responsibility for the damage that is done to the people, the mass hypnosis that's happened, and the people who've been fighting over a flap over your face. And, you know, whether you should have this or shouldn't have this and how selfish you are if you don't and what an idiot you are if you do. You know, this, this is, that's the sort of thing that's been pushed upon us, not because of that's how we think, but that's how we've been told to think because of the mass hypnosis uh, after, after two years of people just not being able to do anything. They're, they're going to be just comply, right? So this will have to change. Um, okay. Saturn hit the USA's natal Pluto in February 2020, the month when the C-19 started making itself known, see, brings up a virus. In February 2021, Saturn's conjunction with US's south node of karma continues a process of paying old debts and taking responsibility for what we've been sleeping under the rug until now. Basically, it's another wake up call. So we'll be facing the 2022 Pluto return based on how much we'll manage the process and to change the harmful realities that we've created until then. We haven't created harmful realities. You know, this is the sort of thing that is, is dangerous when it comes to some of the things with regards to astrology is these people are saying all the right things so that they don't get taken down, right? We aren't, the, we aren't to blame here. The people aren't to blame. I'm sorry. We all just try to be good people. It's the people that we listen to, that we're told what to do, that we're made to do what we're supposed to do. They are creating this. 
this reality. They are the ones that are corrupt and doing things wrong. They are the ones that are turning people against each other. They are the ones that are, you know, not doing things correctly in the police force or whatever's going on there, right? They are the ones that are ripping the people off with high taxes and petrol prices and, you know, all kinds of things going through the roof when we're already struggling. It's not us that have to change our harmful realities because that wouldn't be there. You know, if everyone's focusing on themselves and just moving forward, we're much, much happier people. But when you've been, you know, mentally abused for two years, of course, you know, as soon as you get out of the of the abuse, if you know, if a woman leaves her home after being, you know, abused and kept at home, she's gonna go straight away and have a great time, right? And if someone told her to get back into her box again, it may be harder for her to do that. And this is why they weren't letting us have our freedom because they knew we would go and have a great time and not want to be put back in the corner again, which is why they've stretched it out for so long. And it's not our harmful realities. And, you know, don't let people make you feel bad all the time and that you've done something wrong all the time when you're just trying to live. Okay. Um, Eris square Pluto. So Eris is a heavier planet than Pluto and it's squaring off, right? destruction and rebirth. We've talked about Pluto's square to Eris before in the astrology of C19, but uh, Eris is the goddess of discord and triggers conflict, especially in the hot blooded sign of Aries. Her lower aspect manifests as selfishness and a dog eat dog mentality. Square to Pluto in corporate Capricorn, at the moment of uh, America's Pluto return, Eris warns against waging war to maximize our gains in the disadvantage of others and against the conflict in general. See, it won't allow these things to happen. Like for these tyrannical, you know, leaders to just keep doing what they're doing, you know, just for their own gains. So there's going to be a big exposure going on here. And uh, it has it will be we have Eris on our side, almost like you know, the goddess of justice, Athena. And uh, we have Eros on her side saying, no, you don't. You think you're going to do that and pull that again right now? Forget about it. And uh, so things will come up before that happens. Okay, it's a very, very strong energy. Taking uh, responsibility for our part of the problem and using conflict resolution tools will be paramount in the following years. People don't have a problem. This is one thing I don't get about the astrology thing. It's it's been, been, if someone has dominated you in an abusive situation, you've been dominated your whole life, you're going to do what you're told. You are not causing a problem. You don't want to be in trouble at all. You will follow the rules and do whatever the hell it is because you know what's going to happen if you don't. So people are being abused here and being bullied into thinking that they are bullies. So the people are always wrong all the time. You know, it all has to stop. Um, okay, Pluto is trauma and Eris is rage. So a lot of repressed anger about the past and present injustice is coming to the surface. <sighs> Why do we have to keep on going on about, you know, every mistake that the leaders have made causing the people to turn against each other? We have to make a change in how this is and come together and just stop that narrative all, all together. It, it just can't exist in a peaceful existence where everyone's like, well, don't forget about me. And you said this and I'm not identifying as that. And, uh, you know, you said that and maybe that was you were thinking about being racist and, you know, maybe you're going to be in a couple of years. So I'm just going to beat the crap out of you right now. Does that make sense? No. So. It's saying we need to face our anger without lashing out against others. We only have ang we don't have anger against others. You see, this is the way that this is twisted to make us feel like bad again. You know, nobody should be on this planet should be feeling bad for who they were born to be. Sorry, you've got to own who you were born as and change it if you don't like it and fix it how you want it to be or whatever, but own it, right? So how repaying violence and judgment with more of the same only keeps us stuck in a vicious cycle, right? But 
people in themselves, I want to say again, humanity doesn't have this problem. Only when there's been buttons pushed, only when there's been a scene set or, you know, you've heard something and you, you know, you're thinking, oh, I've got to stand up for this now. When it could have been all manipulated out of proportion, which most likely it all has been, considering everything else has been, you know, for years and years and years and years and years now. So, you know, um, we don't want to be stuck in vicious circles. And we will be if we're continuing listening to the same leadership. The Eris Pluto square is heavy, but we can face it with responsibility for our own spirit, finding ways to channel hurt and anger into actions that help build a different, more open hearted and humane kind of society. We have this if we didn't have all of that over our heads. I'm sure we'd all get along just fine, you know. Um, so, yeah, it's going to push that to happen anyway with this particular um, strength. And it goes on about Mercury uh, making, you know, conscious decisions, etc. So being alive for the United States first Pluto return will be fascinating. Um, and this is what Pluto in Capricorn does best. He spins the world around so no stone is left unturned. And if we dare to leave behind the shadows of the past, he helps us find new lights. It is a rebirthing energy for all of us. Okay. And uh, let me stop that share for the moment. Uh, yeah, so it is a rebirthing stage for all of us. But those kind of articles as well can be dangerous because we go into it feeling like, oh, this is going to be awesome. Everything's going to be exposed. Oh, but once again, we've got to change and we've got to stop and we've got to stop fighting and we've got to stop. We haven't done anything, you know. On the grand scheme of things, we haven't really done anything like that. You see all these convoys and these protests and things and everybody's, you know, together. And my friend went to Canberra in Australia and she said, you know what, she said there were people that had nowhere to, to stay or they didn't have any clothes or whatever. And there were other people just saying, don't worry about it. Here, have this. Here, we've made you this to eat. Here, you can stay here. Just really working with each other. And she said it was the most beautiful thing, you know, and, and the same in, in Canada that we saw as well. Unfortunately, that's all been twisted into being something that it wasn't as well. Um, but you ask all the people that are there and they've got a completely different story. So here we are into this energy of Pluto returning to the natal chart of the United States, where the United States is a cancer sign and uh, cancer is the sun sign and cancer loves to, to have family. It loves to be connected. It loves to look after people. It's like the, my friend says, the mama bear of all of the signs, that kind of motherly, tenderly, you know, tender, loving care. And that's what the United States, um, you know, is energy is in cancer, home and happiness. Okay. It's moon sign is Aquarius. Okay. And that means that emotionally, you know, this country is pretty strong and always moving forward, always looking to the future as to what's going to happen, you know, and uh, the rising sign being Sagittarian, it's like full of adventure and fun and luck as well as its energy as you know you've got all these things going on uh in the united states natal chart and uh the the moon also energy is about technology and things like that so i also feel that with the pluto coming in like this that it will unearth a lot of our own treasures like our own knowledge of things that uh should be with us right now Tesla um, inventions, etc. Maybe there's more information that comes forward about those things because he had a way of giving us all free internet and free electricity and all kinds of stuff, right? Um, maybe homeopathy and uh, old remedies will come back a little bit more. And I kind of see that everywhere now as well. I use my oils all the time. No more cleansers on the face and, you know, everything is gentle, gentle, gentle. Right. Maybe um, we learn how to share and trade with each other again. And these were the old skills that we had, you know, from ancient, ancient times. 
right? But with this sort of darkness that has been over our heads, it's been impossible for anyone to make any decision without anybody else judging that decision and upsetting the apple cart and suddenly you're thinking something that you haven't even thought and this is this is the psychological abuse that has been terrible for the world because people who are not strong enough you know spiritually emotionally whatever they don't know what to do they just follow the crowds oh you guys are angry about that okay let's go burn it down oh you guys are really heated about that okay let me join the fight Instead of like, hang on, we shouldn't be with each other doing this. We should be looking at who's been causing this. But the great plan is to get everybody um, fighting for no reason. Jeez, you know, and look what's happened. Luckily, you know, over the last six months, I would say, this huge awakening has also occurred where, you know, the light has kicked in and help has arrived. and People are feeling better within themselves. People are feeling relief because they can see some kind of light at the end of the tunnel. And, you know, starting to see the truths because bits and pieces come out here, bits and pieces come out there, you know, and we see that, you know, the nodes have also changed. So, uh, you know, we have, or we did have, you know, Scorpio in the, in the, um, in our past, right? And Scorpio is the poison. What's the poison? What's the infection that we've been dealing with? Now it's in our past, energetically speaking. And there's so much more too. You know, there's so many more elements to things, but things are coming down in a big way. And we need to stop concentrating on each other and pettiness and start concentrating on the bigger picture here. And just leave it up to your, you know, the spiritual light team, your own spiritual light team, leave it up to them to deal with it all. You know, if everybody comes together and asks for the angels of humanity, asks for the angels of the governments to step forward, they will, you know. And uh, if there's any corruption in any way, oh, I wouldn't want to be someone who's corrupt because you don't only have Pluto you have Eris as well and it's squaring off and it's it's not going to be pretty in the sense that those people who have been getting away with something over the people putting a blanket over the people and getting away with all their little games that they play it will be exposed we have two years of exposure coming up we have two years to get to know what it's like without the way that things have been. We have two years to embrace opportunities and move forward. And people are going to be coming into the spiritual side of things because what else is corrupt? What other institution is corrupt? And we know this, the churches and all those sorts of things. Okay. It's not the people so, so much. It's the institution itself. And some people don't even, aren't even aware. You know, they're at the bottom of the pile. They don't even know what's going on really, right? But even those in the spiritual, you know, that have been BSing you this whole time. I've seen it. You know, people are waiting for convoys of star fleets to come, you know. Well, if that comes, it's all good and, and well. But I think the point is that we have to learn to save ourselves. We can't save ourselves by listening to people who are telling us that we need to stop fighting with each other and we need to stop doing all these things wrong when we weren't, okay? We have been made to think that way and, and people have been treated that way. I get it. People have been horrifically treated and mistreated and abused. I'm not saying anything about that. But I'm what I'm saying is that in general, humanity just wants to get on with it. They just want to get back to life and, you know, um, having things in their life that they've been looking forward to and to stop struggling. And some people just want to get off the street now, you know, and, and actually have a life. And it's been made harder and harder and harder in, in times that were already hard. So, you know, if something's not working, it needs to be questioned. And the thing that's been swept under the rug is the media. The media sweeps everything under the rug.
They don't even talk about the the um, Hillary thing, you know, the John Durham report. Where, where's the media? They don't want to know about it because that was something that the tea person said, you know. Well, we can't say that, you know, now that it's actually real, we can't admit it, you know. Why? Where's your ethics? You know, I really hope that there are, and I know that there will be, uh, some um, amazing journalists that will come forth, enough is enough, is what they're going to say. And why do you hear it? One thing after another. So this is what we're looking forward to. The change is upon us now. The transformation is here. George Washington is here. I have felt him for months pushing me forward to um, talk. And I'm not even born here in this lifetime. But I know in my heart that people were trying to do a good thing back then. And for a government system, they were actually trying to do a good thing. It may not have been perfect. It may not have been what everybody wanted or whatever, but it was better than what was going to be happening, right? Is it perfect now? This is the question with Pluto Returns. Is it perfect now? Is everything running smoothly for you? Have you got plenty of money saved up in your bank? Are you able to um, travel from place to place and earn money all around the globe if you wanted to? Where's the dream of having the dream home? Because those things have been slipping away from people who don't know how to manifest or aren't in that frame of mind or whatever. You know, are things working really well? Is everything fair? Is everybody, doesn't matter, all humans, are we able to pursue our dreams and goals and happiness? Are we all equal amongst each other? Or do we continue to bring up some slight that happened in the past and a problem that occurred in our personal life? Do we keep bringing that up? Because it won't get solved if it keeps getting brought up because it's not the people that have done this. It's not the people that need to, uh, like, so for example, I'm not a responsible for my neighbor who was abused her whole life. That's not something that I've swept under the carpet. It's not something that I've been responsible for. I don't even know who the person is, right? It's not something that was corrupt in me that caused that to happen. It was a system. It was a person. It was a, you know, an authority. You see what I'm saying? And they use people against each other. And the sad part is that many people fell for it. That's that's the real sad part. I don't think it will be able to continue any of it, you know. And yes, it may take time because remember, after all, this energy is in place for the next couple of years. And things are going to change in that time, no doubt. We are going to become stronger and stronger and stronger as beings of light here on the earth. And as beings of light, we don't want to be controlled by corruptness and darkness and told what we're supposed to feel and think and say. We, we, none of us, come on, around the globe, do you really want to be told your whole life how you feel about a situation? Do you want to be told how you're supposed to feel about a situation? Do you want to be told how much money you're allowed to earn? Do you want to be continually taxed and then taxed on this and taxed at the shop and taxed, you know, with everything that you do? And it's nigh on impossible to get your head above water the way the system is right now. You know, it's just, it's, it's not working. Why? Because greedy people are just got their hands in everything so far. Do we want this? So this is not something that we should revolt each other about and blame each other for each other's histories, each other's lifestyles, each other's households. But we should just accept each other and get to know each other really well because we're going to need each other as we move forward. We're going to need each other as this all crumbles down, as it's already happening. You know, it's it's just going to be needed by all of us. And I really feel the Divine Miracles tribe, you know, you guys are amazing. You guys are all pushing forward. You're understanding the assignment. You're like, I've got this. You know, this is what I've got to do. I know I've got to think about things differently and 
and I'm doing the best that I can and I'm moving forward and I'm connecting with like-minded people and I'm doing my meditations and I'm just pulling myself away from the BS and I'm just not listening to the to the news whatever you want to call it I'm not listening to the lies you know you're you're doing your own sort of work and your own journey bravo well done amazing stuff right we're doing it despite all of this bs so imagine when it's lifted if we can do it now we can do it anytime and i feel the spirit of you know the founding fathers of the united states saying this is what we wanted we wanted you all to be able to have a voice we wanted you all to be able to say what you want to say we wanted you all to be able to pursue your dreams you know we didn't want things taken away this is why we kept certain things in place in case that ever was about to happen and then when it is about to happen and people begin to fight back, then they're called terrorists and things. It can't continue and it won't continue. Okay, so we move on from this. I'm going to get us a message from, let's have a look at the Crystal Mandala Oracle, which is always, what did we have? We had relief and repair from word to world. We had um, uh, revolution. We had all these things that came up in the cards, right? our original self, uh, relief and repair. That's what we had. Yes, we did have that one. I don't want that to come out from word to world. Okay, we had it all going on so far during this whole time. If you go back to my videos on this, you'll see. And we, we're not sure still exactly how everything falls into place and we're not supposed to. All we're supposed to trust is that things that are not um, the things that are not um, from the light, things that aren't really about the people, things that are corrupt in any way, okay, on any level, doesn't matter where it is, okay, you're gone. You're going to fall apart. You're going to go down. Your gig is up. And uh, more and more people are starting to understand how big this really is. This is the change that we wanted to see. Even though it came through crap, those are the biggest lessons. You know, when you have the worst time, you come out the strongest warrior, you know, and this is what's going on here. Okay, let me close my eyes for a moment. <sighs> okay. We have, oh gosh, we have Ascended Master Katumi and Moss Agit, Sacred Ecosystem. Okay, let's have a look at this. Sacred Ecosystem. So don't fall for the mind games anymore, everybody. Remain really, really strong. Remain really focused on where you want to be and what you want to do and how you're going to do it, etc. And keep that focus going. Okay, love everybody that you come across. Smile every day. Give someone a smile. Give them one of yours, right? Just be the change, that, like Gandhi said, be the change that you want to see and it starts to be, have a ripple effect. People don't want to hate each other. People are sick of all this BS and we're not going to be forced into it by corruption. And that's what we've been dealing with so far. And it cannot continue. And now we have the planets on our side. Let's go, okay? Sorry, it had to happen. Okay. Sacred ecosystem. All right. The beautiful colors are kind of like my um, ring, right? We bring you the blessing of the sacred ecosystem. This is a gift of conscious connection, supportive relationship and magnetism, which attracts to you the souls in need of your light. Ha <laughs> ha, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> where, you, where you once may have felt as though you were not in the right place. This, <laughs> hang on. While you felt that you were not in the right place <laughs> this blessing shall now rectify that you are meant to belong and contribute freely to your true soul community 
You are destined to feel as though you've found your way home and can attract and be attracted to those that can support you and benefit from your support too. As you let go of past rejection, of the belief you have to accomplish your divine life mission on your own or fight to have your place in the world, you will allow the power of the sacred ecosystem to transform your life. Your life purpose shall flourish and your experience of conscious connection with the world around you will heal your heart and soothe your soul. Oh my God. Okay. All right. There's an exquisite intelligence to divine design, a way for every aspect of every being to be made to serve the great plan of love. Is your leader loving? There is a story of a cracked pot, and I talked about this once before, which was used to carry water from the fountain to the master's table. And because of the crack, it leaked water along the pathway, arriving at the master's house only partially full, whilst another pot without a crack was able to hold its full complement of water for the household. Crack pot wondered if it was a not good enough pot, all my water leaks everywhere. One day, the water carrier felt compassion for the cracked pot and asked, why do you seem so sad? When the water carrier realized the pot felt that its flaws were bad, especially compared to the undamaged perfect pot, he asked the cracked pot to look down at the path where it leaked water each day. What do you see? asked the water carrier of the cracked pot. I see flowers, replied the cracked pot. Yes, that is right, the water carrier said. Those flowers have sprouted along the path because you've been watering them. Each day they become an offering of beauty and grace upon the master's table. The cracked pot felt very happy to hear this and realized that what it thought was imperfection was actually just a beautiful way to serve. This story teaches us something of the sacred ecosystem. In the sacred ecosystem, everything that is, even the things we might initially write off as unwanted or shameful, serves the greater good. When we simply are who we are, the ecosystem thrives. It doesn't always make sense, but it's true. This is why you never need to judge yourself or another. See, the divine is ingenious in its creative design of all beings, including you. All things serve. Could light be more beautiful or desired than when it is yearned for to break through the dark night? All things have a sacred purpose. If you felt ostracized, abandoned, rejected, or criticized by a system in which you've tried to serve, yes, take heart. When the oracle of sacred ecosystem comes to you, you are being notified that the universe is assisting you in finding your rightful place, your home upon the earth, for you to best fulfill your life's work. Now that you may mean that now that may mean that the system you've been doing your best to operate within has benefited from your light and presence more than you realize, right? So wherever it is that you've been that you haven't wanted to be or you felt suppressed or whatever, there's still benefits to this. Okay, the light is still shining through. It may also mean the time has come for you to shift from one system to another. That there is a new community which you can serve. <laughs> because all this old BS is coming down. This may involve physical relocation or an energetic shift or both. We'll take it. It may result in new connections forming and old ones dissolving. Again, it's part of the Pluto return. Let it dissolve. You may feel like you've stepped out of a story or a world into a completely different story or world. These are just signs that you're evolving into new sacred ecosystem. It may take a time before you settle with confidence into your place within that new sacred ecosystem, but that assurance will come in due course. In the meantime, remember 
that the way you best serve in any ecosystem is to be authentically your divine and brilliantly flawed self as you can. Just be yourself. So we call upon the crystal angel of Moss Agate and ascended master Kutumi, who love me unconditionally. Thank you for the divine healing blessing of the sacred ecosystem. May all beings be lovingly guided with divine mercy and unconditional love into the sacred ecosystem that will allow them to fulfill their divine potential without any suppression going on. That everybody deserves to win here, right? Especially the underdogs. Um, and fulfill their divine potential for the greatest good through unconditional love and my own free will, so be it. And I choose of my own free will through this in any lifetime and through all layers of my entire being to release all fears of abandonment, being isolated socially, being rejected or betrayed by the tribe and not feeling I really belong to a sacred home and unconditionally loving family. I release all such wounds, memories and associated belief systems now. I now choose of my own free will to embrace the reality of the sacred ecosystem where I have a place, a purpose and a uh, presence that contributes to the greater good. I trust the universe completely to guide me into the sacred ecosystem with, within which I can best fulfill my divine potential and serve love now. So may divine love bring harmony, peace, divine order and creative loving intelligence to all sacred ecosystems. May all living beings feel at home in their place in the greater divine scheme of life through divine compassion and in service to the great divine plan of love unfolding. I express my purpose, passion and presence with perfection within the sacred ecosystems that I serve. It is done and so be it. Oh my God. Okay. So we free ourselves from the confines that we've always had. We free ourselves from the corruption that we've always seen. We lift ourselves arm in arm with each other, helping each other to succeed in whatever way we can. And that's all we really have to do here and everything changes. If everybody focuses on their own empowerment, on who you are as a soul, start learning how to empower and strengthen yourself and lead others with light, which is why I created the Light Leaders Academy, because you're all leaders in your own way and you all have something to share and give and working in a group or working on your own even, but spreading that light out as far as you can and helping people because you understand, not fighting with people, you know, or being caused to fight with someone that you never had a problem with. That is never a positive vibration, you know, and it's sad to see people being used by leaders, by, by governments, being used as weapons against humanity. And that has got to stop as well. Hang on to your hats, everybody, as things are going to start getting really intense. And I really hope to see you in the Light Leaders Academy. It is just amazing. And uh, we will also be doing um, some uh, a recording and you guys will be able to kind of chime in on this. Um, and uh, really hope to see you in the next video, of course. Thank you to all my patrons also. Thank you so much. Um, your contribution of $5 a month is all it needs. and You've got a webinar coming up on Saturday, which is going to be awesome as well. So thank you so much for all that have helped um, through this whole process and keep your light shining. Don't take any BS from anybody. You don't have to justify yourself to anybody else. Keep staying strong in your power. Don't let other people tempt you to lower your standards. Don't be tempted at all. Just keep on lifting and moving forward regardless and you watch who wins the race, okay? It's not going to be the corrupt because that's all just one thing after another. You mark my words how this, how quickly this will all turn around, okay? Um, I will see you guys in the next video. I am sending lots and lots of love, okay? Happy manifesting today. Um, and until next time, bye for now.